Welcome back to Fossil Fundamentals. Today we're talking about fossil preparation. I'll show you the different types of pens and equipment that we use. Um, we're taking the, the rock from the rough state and to make it into something displayable uh, that we then put on our website. And we'll show you those processes, the equipment, and talk to you a little bit about all those. So uh, uh, stay tuned. The first thing I want to show you is our air compressor. Uh, this is a screw compressor. Um, it has built-in air lines, uh, built-in air, air dryer, oil filters, and all the things you, you generally need. This is the top range uh, air compressor that we can get on the market. Um, but actually smaller ones, roughly about a 100 litre tank is all you need for fossil preparation. But you do need uh, air traps and especially to keep all the water out of your air lines water will kill your tools so you need to take out as much water and the air compressors will generate water as well as air so you need to empty the tank at least once a week um, to keep all the uh, moisture out of the system because uh, that will ruin all your equipment so um, all our all my previous um, air compressors have actually bought been, been bought by machine mart um, you can buy them fairly cheap, but the bigger the tank is, the more air it, air it holds, the less the engine is going to, and the, uh, the um, motor is going to kick in. And the more the more times the engine ch kicks in, the more noise it makes. So the bigger the tank, the less noise it's going to make. Um, the bigger the tank you can afford, the better, really. Um, that's my uh, personal opinion. So, like I say, you can buy a decent um, air compressor from Machine Mart, but like I say, this this one that we've used, uh, are using uh, the big the big thing. Let me just see if I can turn you around a minute. No, uh, this big thing here, it is a uh, has got everything in inside, and it is serviced once a year, um, but it is expensive. Okay. Now we need to talk about air um, dust extraction. This is the equipment that we use. Um, it's a basically a, a basically a big industrial vacuum cleaner that basically sucks all the all the air and dust into it and deposits all the uh, dust inside. You can get one that then extracts straight outdoors, but we we can't do that here. So it all collects in, inside inside this container. Um, you can use industrial grade um, air air. Uh, air vacuum cleaners but they but they tend to burn out after say a few months because the motor isn't and the, the filters aren't aren't quite up to the up to the grade you need extraction because uh, any bits of rock that when you're prepping any bits of rock and dust will be going straight into your lungs and this can cause sil silicosis and and that can cause cancer so you don't want any dust coming into your, into your uh, mouth or nose. So always wear a good res respirator uh, as well. Dust mask, the paper dust masks aren't really designed for dust work, particularly for, for fossil preparation. You need a proper respirator. I'll show you one of those in a, in a little while. Um, just to prevent all the dust from going into your lungs. If you're prepping pyrite, the pyrite's gonna get in, they're gonna go into your lungs and the pyrite will then cause uh, um, sulfuric acid in your lungs and it'll kill you okay so you don't want any dust whatsoever going into your body uh, so that's the most important point, point about dust extraction when you're fossil prepping here's our here's our rock saw uh, this one was designed by Ken Mannion uh, I don't think he does these anymore um, this is probably about 20 years old and it's ideal uh, for cutting uh, cut bases cutting and uh, cutting uh, through items just before we start polishing them uh, and then we've got our uh, polishing equipment just over here uh, with various uh, grades of grits and, and belts and what have you uh, for doing all the polishing uh, like I said you, you might be able to use a, a, a different tile saw or um, or masonry saw but um, ideally you, you need a setup like this a, a good lapidary saw um they can there may be some second hand ones out there um 
like I say, this one, this one that's designed by Ken, I've had it 20 years. It's only had one change of ball bearings in that time. It was built to last. This is our abrasive. We've got a Model K, uh, SS White Model K, um, and uh, we do have the uh, Vanniman Pro Blast. And um, both, are, both are great pieces of kit. Uh, air abrasive is only a finishing tool. It, it, there's only very specific, very soft matrixes that you can actually physically prep with uh, with them. Um, majority of the majority of the work is mechanical uh, air pen work, and I really, we really, really use only use these things for um, uh, finishing uh, off the um, the items before we put the varnish on. These are some of the tools we, we use. Uh, we use uh, Ken Mannion uh, prep tools, um, uh, mainly because we found that the Ken Mannion material, uh, particularly the pens are, are built for, for uh, commercial prep work. Uh, there is other, other companies out there such as Zoic and uh, Paleo Tools, but we tend to find that uh, the, these Ken Mannion ones have, have lasted us a long, long time. Uh, we've got the, uh, I think these, I think he calls this the TT pen, which is we do most of the work with. We've got this one, which is the prototype of the, I think he calls this the FB pen, but this is the prototype for that. And then we've got a, a, a grinder uh, for smoothing off the rock. So we'll um, have a go at a few of these. Um, I've got actually a, um, a tenure castatum that we can we can prep. And um, and we'll see how we get on with that, and show you show you a bit of bit of techniques. All right. Just before we start prepping, here's some of the safety equipment that we use. Here's some air defenders uh, to reduce the noise, uh, and here's our respirator. It's, um, you can get full face masks. You've got to have the um, these filters that are, are down to very you know minuscule microns uh, for the for the dust. Uh, you must wear one of these at all times uh, because it does get very, very dusty when you're prepping. So we'll we'll have a go at uh, prepping this this tenuic starter and uh, and see how we get on. Okay.
you can see I've uh, prepped all the way around, around this ammonite. Uh, I've even cut a base on it uh, so it sits nice. And all we need to do now is, is smooth the rock off, uh, aerobrade it uh, before we varnish it, but then put some varnish on uh, and then it'll be done. So uh, pretty good, pretty good result. Uh, so we're just going to give you a quick video to show you how we smooth this off. Uh, and then uh, we'll we'll take it from there. So we've uh, we've done the uh, smoothing off now. As you can see, it's uh, just ready for the air abrasive now. And uh, uh, I'll show you the air abrasives. Like say the uh, the SS White, we've got a, a minor problem with that one at the minute, so I can't show you the SS White. But we'll be air abrading with the um, the Vaniman Pro Blast today. Uh, so I'll show you I'll show you that in action uh, if I can. And uh, We'll see how it comes out. Here is the item which is uh, just waiting for the beeswax to go on. Uh, now we will use uh, Liberian liquid beeswax. It just uh, with pure turpentine. You basically just paint it on like a with a paintbrush uh, and let it dry. So uh, that's what we're going to do now. And um, so we just uh, basically just paint it on and then, then let it dry.
kind of tricky to do when you're holding three things at once. So we'll finish this off, let it dry, uh, and we'll buff it up, and then it'll be done. So here it is finished. You can see it's all nicely. We just buffed it up with a soft shoe brush, and it's come out, come out really nice. Uh, here's a few others that we've uh, recently prepped, a few for customers. We do offer prep services for uh, for customers as well if they've got something that need prepping. We do that service, so get in touch if you if you need anything that like that done. Uh, here's a few other other fossils that we've uh, we've just been prepping. These are just need need buffing up as well. So yeah, so that's uh, come out really nice. If you've got any questions uh, about fossil prepping, leave the comments. Uh, leave your questions in the comments below, um, and please subscribe. Um, and uh, let me know if you need any other videos at any point, and what those topics might be. And uh, I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, all for now.